I'm Gary from Farmhand. I'm the area service manager for the Southern Region. We're here today to showcase, I suppose, best practices for setting up your fertilizer spreader and getting optimum results from your machine and your product. This machine we're, we're looking at today is a ZAV uh, machine. It's a speed related machine which alters the shutter position. Uh, the faster you go or slower you go, it will change the, change the shutter position and ultimately keep the, the correct rate. So the first thing we do is we, we securely couple the machine to the tractor and we make sure that from left to right our spreader is level and also from front to back is level. Um, we then check our disc height from the ground at the front should be 80 centimetres and also at the back should be 80 centimetres above the ground. For top dressing, try and at least aim for 50 centimetres above the crop on top dressing. We will then check our fertiliser app to get the settings of the product that we want. Okay, so the, the first thing you do is you identify what product you're spreading. So to show you a little bit on the Easy Check app, on initial setup, the first thing we do is we select a machine. And in this case, we select the ZAV and we can put in the serial number of the machine also, or a name, and also select the measuring units. So we will, today we will go with metric. We select our disc, which is V2, and our working width, today we're going working with 18 meters. We select also what limiter, if we have a limiter on the machine, and it is manually adjusted limiter, so we, we select it with the stopper and the slider on the side and we create the implement. So once the implement is created, we then select it. We then select our product from the fertilizer tab. So we then select Yara fertilizers and select your product. And from that, we can add to the spreading chart. It asks us then for an approximate working speed so we will put in 12 kilometers per hour and a spread rate of today 125 kilos to the hectare and continue. So from that, it gives us a basic shutter position or disc speed of 720 RPM. It also gives us our border spreading settings. So it tells us the position of the, the border is letter C and 60 for a height. Our switching on point is 15 meters and our switching off point is three meters. So then we move to the machine and we set the vanes probably firstly. It has given us the settings for 18 meters of 26 and a half for a shutter position and more importantly, 13 and 44 on the vane settings. And we're now going to show you how to adjust the vane settings on the machine. So, like we described earlier, we have a long and a short vane, and we also have numbers on the disc to correspond from the setting chart. So, the long vane, we set to 44. So once the indicator is in position 44, we can move to the short vane, and we move to 13. And we repeat the same procedure on the opposite disc. So this is the basics of setting your spreader and getting working before we do any further checks. Okay, so as you can see, we laid out our mats and we spread the product as, as required. We've taken our pictures then using the Easy Check app and the results have come back on the Easy Check app. And when we press continue, we see that the optimizations are showing to make a slight change, okay? It's a good spread pattern, but we can fine tune it by making a slight change. The change is they ask us to drop our long vane setting by one notch from 44 to 43. Okay, so we'll make that change, we'll carry out another spread check, and we'll come back with the results. Okay, so after repeating our spread check, making our adjustment, we now see that we have the perfect spread pattern. The app will tell us our settings are good and you can continue spreading.